everyone. The theme of today is keeping it real. I have to tell you, I'm exhausted. I've just been working so hard lately and um, I almost didn't make this video because I thought, you know, I'm just too tired. I don't want to do it. But really, the whole reason that I even started doing this is to keep myself accountable so that when I am feeling like this, I will come home and find an easy recipe to make instead of driving through the Taco Bell drive through and bringing it home. So, you know, if I cannot push through this today and, um, and find an easy recipe to make, even when I'm feeling exhausted, um, then I will have to consider this a failed experiment. And I really don't want to fail. Matt and I are doing really, we're doing too good with this. Um, for me to give up now so even though I'm exhausted you can see I took no time whatsoever tonight to come home and, and shower and fix my hair put my makeup on I'm even still I'm even still wearing my painting clothes and but you know like I said I've got to push through this I've got to stop making excuses for why I can't cook and why I need to just go through the drive through and pick us up some fast food. I'm not, I'm not going to give up now. So bear with me. I, as you can tell, I mean, I, I even tried to clean my kitchen because I, I don't know. I don't like people seeing my kitchen like this, but I thought, you know, I spent an hour already trying to clean the kitchen and I've got dishes piled up here in my dishwasher, uh, stuff from projects that I've worked on this last week, like the fabric and stuff that I did my little message board with, and I just ran out of steam. I ran out of energy. I don't have the energy to clean my kitchen for you, and I know that you really don't care. So anyway, I'm keeping it real. I am keeping it real today. So, I actually looked through all of the recipes that y'all have given me, and again, so thankful. I am so thankful um, that y'all are helping me along with this, because I really do need all the help I can get. And so, I looked through all the recipes, and I found literally the easiest one that I could find. This has to be easier than anything I've made to date. So, um... I'm going to go for it. This is, it was given to me by Lee. So Lee, if you're watching this, thank you so much for this recipe. Um, I, I cannot imagine anything being easier or faster. You say that it takes you about five minutes to put it together. I can see that. I can see that it's quite easy. So anyway, um, this recipe, she didn't give it a name. It's just pork chops and, and rice. Um, so anyway, I'm going to double the recipe that she gave. So I'm using two boxes of long grain rice, uh, Uncle Ben's, in the original recipe. She specified original recipe. And then I've got two cans of Campbell's French onion soup. And then I've got pork chops. Actually, I don't know, those don't look like pork chops that I've ever seen before. They are pork loin chops bone-in end cut so anyway they look different from pork chops I've seen before but oh my gosh these things are cheap so wow this whole meal you know this is gonna feed us for several days and I can't imagine I can't imagine that it costs over ten dollars so wow anyway okay so I've got my pork and I know probably some of you are non-pork eaters, and I would imagine that you could just substitute um, chicken for this, and then butter, and that is it. Um, now, she says that she cooks it in the oven. Let's see, yeah, she mixes it all together uh, in a 9 by 13, covers it with foil, and then bakes at 350 for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Um, I'm actually not going to do that because part of my pork is actually still frozen because I forgot to take it out of the freezer in time and I have, um, I don't know if you've heard of this, I have Salad Master cookware and you can, 
you could put a frozen, you know, well, I don't know, uh, an entire frozen chunk of meat in here and it'll cook it in an hour. I mean, this is fantastic cookware. Um, so I'm actually going to take advantage of that instead of cooking it in the oven. I'm just going to put it right on top of the stove. Um, so anyway, I guess you just mix all this together. Let's see, pour the rice and seasoning packet in. I could have opened this before I started, but again, it's just one of those things. It's been one of those weeks. I'm exhausted. You can tell I didn't even prepare my ingredient list like I usually do for my videos. So, I'm just going to pour that right in there. And I can't imagine that this French onion soup, well, she says French onion soup plus a half a can of water for each one. But that still doesn't seem like a lot of moisture. Cut or tear here, it's not, I don't know. Maybe you have to have a password to get in there or something. There. So I'll just dump that right in. Where's the other one? I thought I could use this one at first, but I really don't think that two things of rice plus all that pork would fit in there. So I'm having to use my five quart I think that is it's either five or eight I don't know um, okay so put those in and then okay and then pour the soup in I love these soups that have the little pull top on them I don't have to go looking for a can opener and then for each one of those I'll put a half a cup or a half a can of water okay well that would be a whole can of water do you see how exhausted I am I can't even think and then I'll just stir all that together with my knife I think that's good enough. And then you put the pork right in there. I do think I might add a little more water. Maybe just a touch more. And you can see, <laughs> we don't even drink our tap water here. I, If you live in Waco, you know exactly what I'm talking about our tap water is just disgusting it smells like dirt so I have to buy bottled water they swear up and down that it's safe to drink but please something that smells that disgusting I just I don't want to drink it okay and then she says to put a couple of tablespoons of butter cut up right on top And that's it. I mean, that cannot get any easier. <laughs> My goodness. I'm exhausted and I still managed to put that together. So, like I said, I'm going to put this... Um, I'm going to put this right on the stove. With my Salad Master cookware, I just put it on uh, medium until the little thing clicks. It has a little clicker on top. When that starts clicking, I turn it down to low and just cook it until the meat is ready and the uh, you know the rice and everything is ready um, but if you don't have salad master cookware or anything like that you'll probably just stick it right in the oven and she said to cook it for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes and then it's done so I'm excited to have something this easy um, a recipe this easy that I can come home and put together in five minutes on days when I'm feeling exhausted like this this is exactly the kind of thing that I need this is exactly the kind of recipe that will keep me out of the drive-through at Taco Bell. So, Lee, thank you so much for this recipe. 
and I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. Well, I don't know how long it's going to take to cook here on the stovetop in my salad master cookware, but um, I would imagine it'll take uh, maybe 45 minutes. So we'll see how it turns out and I'll come back and let you see the final result. So it's been about 40 minutes since I put this on the stovetop and it's done. I mean, that was really fast, especially considering that um, some of the meat was still frozen when I put it in. Um, I'm telling you, this cookware, if you've never heard of it, Salad Master Cookware, it's really fantastic. It, like I said, you can put an entire, you know, pork roast in there, almost completely frozen, and it'll cook it in maybe an hour and a half. Uh, but anyway, I'm not here to sell you cookware. I'm here to tell you about the recipe. As it turns out, I did not need that extra water that I put in there, but, you know, that's fine. One thing that I've noticed is since we eat these uh, meals a few days in a row, um, they tend to, to dry out over time, and so I'm really not concerned about the extra water that I put in there. It'll just keep this from drying out. Um, but anyway, here's what it looks like. I mean, it's really, really simple. You know, the rice uh, turned out really good. I've already, <laughs> I've already helped myself to some over here. Um, anyway, the rice turned out really good. The, uh, uh, what was it, the soup? Yeah, the French onion soup that goes in there along with the, uh, the spice packets. I mean, it's really the blend of flavors is really good. The meat turns out really tender. Um, so anyway, I mean, talk about it easy. I really don't think you can get much easier than that. And I mean, this really just saved me today. You know, I really do consider this a victory uh, because let me tell you, I was just wanting to go to Taco Bell. Um, and I'm so glad that I didn't. I really am. I don't want to give in to those, um, you know, those times when I'm just feeling lazy or today when I'm just feeling exhausted. Uh, that was the whole point of this is to stay out of the drive through come home and cook something easy. And so, Lee, thank you so much for this recipe. It is, it's really good. I can see why your family likes it. So, anyway, if you have a re an easy recipe like this, please send it to me because these are the kinds that I, I need most often. Um, but hopefully next week I can do something a little more involved. Um, and hopefully next week I'll also fix up a little more for you. I mean, you know, I know that y'all really don't care but uh, I don't want to get in this habit of just, you know, <laughs> wearing my painting clothes to do my videos. Um, but anyway, thank you for being gracious and bearing with me through this today. And I'll see you next week.